Um, so by the way, what, what we just did is um, we just broke into the fur farm. So now we're actually inside the fur farm, which means that there are actually uh, enemies here. And if they, if they catch me, they might actually shoot me. So because, you know, there is no, there is no combat mechanic in terms of, you know, you cannot shoot at the enemies or anything. So this, this is not, not a shooter. But the enemies can shoot at you. They um, they are very aggressive and they're armed. So basically, um, out here I have to be super careful. To um, obviously I know everything here because I set it up. So there are two enemies, and it really makes me nervous that I have no idea where they are because they're definitely somewhere here. And uh, oh yeah, there's you see one of them is over there. I just have to make sure that he doesn't see me. And the problem... Oh no, I think he caught me. Uh, the problem is that the enemy AI is also pretty smart. So um, I really regret using this system because it's... Like, the, the enemy AI is... For, for development, this is, like, super uncomfortable because they catch me every time. So I know that he's over there. Now, when you, when you see... There, there's gonna be different uh, different ways where you can hide from the enemies. Oh no, he got me. I just wanted to show you that there is. Oh no, there's basically a toilet there. Uh, um, uh, what is what is the name of that? Uh, pity pot? Is that is that what you call it? Um, in Germany we say. Um, oh, sorry for ignoring the chat. I'm just trying to survive here and not get shot. And. Uh, yeah, music is on, thanks. Uh, just checking the chat real quick. But, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to not get shot right away in my own game that I'm uh, that I'm developing. It's, like, super embarrassing to, <laughs> to die right away in your, in your... Oh, look, is there... Oh, no! Okay, so there's alarm that you want to actually avoid running into, and I just... Oh, no, oh, no, somebody's shooting at me. And I am not. Oh, oh, where, where the hell? Oh no! Ah, okay. <clears throat> oh yeah. That's what I mean. I just died, and I lost the bolt cutter. <sighs> okay. Um, we're gonna be back in a second. <laughs> so we're gonna probably yeah. So when you die, you start over where you started. So we're now down here again. And I can at least show you the foxes. So there's a bunch of foxes running around here, which it, I, I feel like one of the most fun things in the game is just to, you know, uh, run around and, and interact with the foxes, which there's not a lot of interaction right now, but at least when you're near, they look at you. As you can see, they look at you. And it's cute. I find it very cute. And they can also walk up the the stairs. <laughs> I just love it. I just, just look at them. For me, for me, the game is actually finished. Basically, I have foxes. They look at me when they, when, <laughs> when they're close. That's all I need in the game. Okay, so hey. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna uh, try to implement here is definitely gonna be a um, petting mechanic, so that you can actually pet the animals. Okay, let's. Let's free this guy real quick, and then I'm gonna go up again and uh, try to not die this time. Okay, so so basically, when we're up, um, there is a different uh, freeing mechanic that I want to show you. So there's different uh, different um, cages upstairs, basically in the in the actual fur farm, and uh, I can show you just uh, real quick. The, the other cages and how they work. It's more or less the same thing, they just look different and uh, yeah, it's, the, the difference is really, the, the mechanic itself is the same, but um, they just, yeah, they, they look a bit different. Uh, by the way, um, the reflections and shadows and stuff here, uh, just for, for the guys, uh, you know, those of you who are interested in that kind of stuff, the reflections are actually real reflections, so if you look here into those pots in the wet areas, well, at least when I'm, when it's really hot for this character, but at least when I'm uh, here with the fox and I'm actually um, controlling the fox, you can um, see the reflection of the fox in the wet areas. I find that to 
be pretty cool. So it's, it's not faked reflections, it's actual reflections. Okay, let's see. It seems that I'm stuck for some reason. I don't want to be stuck. Okay. So, this, these, um, what am I? Uh, so, so these um, stairs are a little bit unruly because I modeled them myself and I'm obviously not very good at modeling, so they're a little bit of a pain in the butt right now, but they're gonna get better with time. Okay. So now let's let's not die this time. Let let that be our goal. This time we're gonna not get shot and somehow I'm gonna show you the Oh yeah, by the way, what, what I definitely want to show you is... Oh no! Ah, uh, they got us again. So, I wanted to actually show you this toilet because I think it's awesome. So, later on it's going to be that you, you can go into that toilet thing and uh, you can actually, basically, um, hide, hide yourself in there. So, I think that's kind of fun. So, as you can hear, you hear foxes. Uh, and they're not foxes, but uh, cats, actually. So this um, freeing mechanic that I'm going to show you now is actually the fir my first attempt of making a freeing mechanic. So, uh, And that was when I didn't have the fox character yet. So um, the characters in, in the cages here are just cats, because that was the only animal that I had at that time. So you're now going to see some little kitty cats here, and they need to be freed. As you can see, they're all in here, and they all do the same animation because it was just basically just one model that I, <laughs> that I just replicated all over here. So this was my initial my initial attempt at the freeing mechanic. So let's go into third person again. Go in here and open this up. Yeah, and then when you open it up. This opens up, and then later on, when it's actually done, the idea is that the the cats jump out, um, or rather, I should say, the foxes, because you know it's supposed to be actually foxes, and then yeah, that's that's how that works. Okay, so now what I would like to do is I would like to show you around a little bit um, out here, because as I said, we actually didn't uh, start where you're normally supposed to start, so. I would say I'm gonna go with you outside of the fur farm where you would actually, you know, start the game in. I kind of uh, show you around there. Oh no. Uh, maybe maybe we can just run very quickly. Let me see. Ah, uh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh no, open, 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 open. Okay, the great thing is, when I'm out here, although in real life the enemy would, a would be able to shoot me through this um, fence, in the game, he can't shoot me through the fence. Uh, but if he comes out, uh, he can actually shoot me out here. So uh, let's hope they don't come out. Let's just go somewhere else. Okay, so there is a cornfield out here. Uh, the idea is that I wanted to create something where you can have a little bit of a labyrinth, like a little bit of a maze, uh, where, you know, for, for the gameplay later, I can just hide some stuff uh, in the maze uh, and stuff like that so I'm gonna show you where you would normally when you when you start the game normally you would uh, start it you know in, in the direction that I'm walking now but uh, quite quite a bit further in that direction you would um, start the game and then you would approach it from this side basically and uh, yeah I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just show you around a little bit what we can do is we can just Let's just, you know, you can climb up ladders and stuff. So that's nice. But yeah, as I said, um, like a lot of these mechanics are not really finalized yet. So there's some of the stuff is a little bit janky and kind of, you know, um, it's just not finished. So I'm going to go into first person view. Jump up. Oops, whoa. I don't know what just happened. Yeah, so this is basically ladder climbing from the first person view. It's not pretty, so I'm gonna go out and <laughs> do third person again. Okay. Yeah, so when you climb all the way up here, 
to get a nice view. That's why that's why I wanted to come up so I can show you around. So if we look this way, this is basically so this way is um, you know I cannot point any. Oh, I can actually use. Oh no, I cannot use the mouse to point somewhere. Um, yeah. So the direction that I'm looking at is actually where the normal starting point is, and then you go through the whole forest and you work your way nearer and nearer to the. Uh, to the place here and then the idea is that you go into the cornfield and you actually um, you know you see the tower over there um, the, the wooden tower you would actually um, go up the tower and then from there you what you see is that strange arc that squared arc and that squared arc is actually your um, yeah, your, your marking basically where you're supposed to go to to then um, go underground and that's what takes you to where we just were so I'm now just gonna go there basically and then show, show that to you let's just try to get um, down here without dying now for for development mode oh I'm getting a coffee that is so nice thank you so much Katie. so my wife is just bringing me coffee that is very nice because it's quite late in Germany so I'm getting coffee so that I can continue to, to play on cage with you guys. Mm. Ah, that's so good. Um, let me just look into the uh, into the chat real quick to see if there's um, anything I can answer. Okay, so. Wait, but the industry told me these vegan extremists will shoot everyone on sight. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I know. That <laughs> was it a rocket launcher. Um, yeah, this is Unreal Engine uh, 5. This is, to be to be precise, this is Unreal Engine 5.2. Um, oh yeah, so I, I can see that my friend David is actually in here. So David is our project manager in the team. Um, so everybody say hi to David and uh, David thank you for uh, yeah, yeah, helping me with answering the questions and everything. So if you have questions you can also ask David. Um, yeah, David is helping me with you know programming and pro project management and everything and, and really everything and he's just a great friend. Uh, as you can see he's also supporting me here. So yeah, I'm gonna focus on the game now so I can show you a little bit more. Okay, so let me see. Want to go down there? Okay. Let's just try to not fall. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is, I could actually fall from up here because I turned off the fall damage, so um, I technically wouldn't die. But I'm not gonna do it because I just don't want to um, destroy the magic, right? Um, so in the finished game, it's gonna be that. Um, if you fall, you're gonna actually hurt yourself because obviously that's more realistic. Um, but uh, you know, while I'm working on the game, uh, I have just turned that off. So theoretically, if I fall, nothing's gonna happen. But I find it to be just a little bit more fun if you pretend that I would actually take damage if I fall. Okay, seems that I'm stuck here for some reason. Why is that? Okay, yeah, I was stuck. Okay, that's not that hard. Yeah, as, as you see, I didn't take any damage. Okay, so we're fine. So, we could go right into, you know, what I just explained to you in the cornfield, but I think it's actually cooler to take you all the way back to the starting point where you normally, you know, start the game. So, um, and then from there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just play from the start the way that I imagine, you know, the finished game to be. Let me switch to first person view and take you to that point. So, now, everybody's saying hi to David, that is so nice of you. <laughs> so, is there anyone else from the team here? It's just David. Okay, so yeah, this is basically where you actually start the game. Um, so you're starting the game actually underneath this this bridge. There is a um, 
an underpass and that's where you actually start so I mean why am I talking about it I can just take you there <laughs> because down here there is actually a little camp so there's basically this tent and a little bit of a you know it's yeah there's another tent over there and uh, seems that I've done something to the to the landscape and the tent is almost covered in, in uh, landscape here but that's basically where you start and this is actually a cool thing because I can show you something else here I can show you my swimming mechanic because yeah I just one of the things that I love about games is uh, really really well done water which um, I mean we're not done yet, obviously, but I really like how our water shader looks right now. 